everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make this bay window card. This was actually requested by a few of you over on my requests page on my blog. So I had a little look on Pinterest and I found a tutorial. I believe it's the original one from Maria Taylor. And she said that she got the idea from someone called Tony. I think they were at a retreat or something. So... So I've made mine as a five by seven size. It's my favourite size to make. And I just wanted something that had the length so I could create this underwater theme here. And this is using my Papercraft Society kit, which I'll show you in a moment. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, how does it fold flat? So the idea is it's basically an easel card. I was saying during the Facebook Live when I made this, you could have it this way, you know, and obviously change the, the orientation of the decoration. You could have a topper on this front section here or, you know, it's entirely up to you. But. This just clips under here, just like it would on an easel card. It would have a little stopper that it would sit against. And then the whole thing will fold flat and fit in your envelope. Now, what I will be doing with these style cards is I will have a little, I'm going to print it out on a little bit of paper that just says, pop the flap behind the treasure chest. You know, really simple. And then that way the person knows, because they're going to open this and they're going to do this, because that's just natural. That's what you do when you get a card. They will then know that there's just a little bit there just to pop it under and that way it will stand up. And then what I have on the back here is my space to write my message. And that all fits into a five by seven envelope. But like I said, you can make this any size you want. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. OK, so to make the card, I've got two pieces of five by seven. So for this five by seven piece along the seven inch side, I've scored at half an inch, two and a half, four and a half and six and a half. So each of these panels are two inches wide. So next you want to decide whether you want to cut an aperture into this section here or if you're just going to keep your three panels and it might be just a nice decorative pattern paper and then you may want to pop, you know, a topper on the, the middle panel there. You'll want three pieces that are one and three quarter by four and three quarters and they're going to sit there. Now I want to emboss these, but if I emboss them, stick them down, and then lay this down to cut. It's gonna squash all of my embossed image. You'll see I've got this lovely bubble effect there. So what I'm gonna do is I've just been using this spray, stick and spray, but a very small amount just to tack them in place. But you could use, you know, just some washi tape rolled up. You just basically wanna tack these in place so that you can get this cut and then all the pieces and the shapes of them, you can lay into your embossing folder and then get it embossed. So I'm just gonna spray these just away from my desk, just very lightly on the back. It's just a Crafter's Companion stick and spray. And because I've only put a small amount on there, it will just give it a very, very light tack. So I'm just gonna do the same with these two. Now, if you use a lot of this spray, you can use it to adhere your intricate dies and things like that. So I've just tacked that in place. I've now got this die here, this oval, and this measures, you're looking at three and a half inches by four and a half. And I wanna cut that right through the middle here. Okay, so that's cut through. So you can keep that or discard it. You don't need that now. But I can now lift these off because I've just tacked them in place. And now I can place these into my embossing folder and emboss them. And that way I've not squashed my design. And you'll see there, it's just, you know, you can hardly see where I've popped that down. Okay, so next you want to emboss these pieces. So I'm just laying them in the embossing folder here. This is the Creative Expressions Bubble Burst folder. I'm now just going to get that one uh, embossed. Okay, so now that caused that effect. It works perfectly for this scene. Okay, and then you might have to move them around to check they're the right ones, but I think that one went there. Yep, so that one fits perfectly there. That one there. And then these two, I think the large, that one's slightly bigger. That was at the top and that one down there. So now I'm going to stick these back into place and I'm going to use my Kalau glue. Okay, so whilst that's drying, with the other piece of five by seven, we want to stick our background on. So in your booklet, in the kit, I'll just show you, this is the kit for anybody 
who's joining that's new. So this was my one. This is part of the Papercraft Society, so every month there's a different designer. So mine was box number 19. Again, everything will be linked in the description box below. But you'll see everything you get here, your dies, you've got stencils. That's not, there is a stencil in this, but I've added this other underwater stencil in there, so I remember to use it. Stamps, there's your booklet. If you go to page six, it will give you the link to the free downloads. So I just downloaded this one here. I've just cut this to five by seven. I'm going to stick it over the top. But I've also stamped the School of Fish stamp, which is just this one here. And I've also gone and stamped out all different things that I want to use. See, I've coloured them all there. I've got my little crab and I've popped the googly eyes on him there as well. And then I've die cut the treasure chest, the anchor and all of the jewels there. And they're all on the die set. The die set makes a penny slider. Again, for anybody who's not seen this before. And I've got a playlist, which I'll link now, showing you how to do all of this and the other cards that I've made using this kit. So I'll pull that back in there. You've also got your water droplets, which create a really nice effect with the cards and then you also get papers and cards but i've used loads of them and then you get your downloads and there's also vellum and glitter card that you get as well so the kits are always full of lots of really fun stuff to use so i'm going to stick this right over this piece here because i just printed this onto a 90 gsm paper so that's all in place so just make sure if you do want to stamp anything on you do all of that now so this is dried so i'm just going to fold and burnish the two middle score lines so they're mountain folds and then these outer ones you want them to be valley folds and just burnish those so you should have something that's that shape you're only now going to stick one side down so we're going to stick this down right up to the edge there and then this is where you're going to clip it into your stopper so when you go to place that stopper down you know Kind of see what it is you want to use, what shape toppers you want and what this, the theme is that you're doing. And there's already been some really lovely ones shared on the group. And like I said, this isn't my my design. This was something that was done, I believe it was, I think, towards the beginning of the summer last year. So there's a lot of inspiration on Pinterest. If you just type in Bay Window Card, you'll see some really beautiful designs. So whilst that's drying... I can then bring in these pieces here. Now I am going to add a frame onto this as well. You'll see I've got the silver frame there. But I've also built up my scene within the frame. You can stick things on the outside. And I've put things on foam as well. So you're going to, the stopper needs to be on foam. But I've also put other, you know, characters there. The puffer fish, the crab, they're all on foam. And then I've been able to kind of, you know, pop things behind there. And then these I've stuck directly onto the card. And then instead of using the water droplets that come in the kit, which I love and I've used them on lots of cards, I use the um, Nouveau Drop here. This is the Morning Dew to create smaller bubbles for the fish in the distance and stuff, which I th thought worked really well. And then I've covered them all with the glossy accents. So I will cover those in a moment, but I'm now going to pop it on high speed and get all of this stuck down. And like I said, I'll just talk about the topper, the stopper a little bit more just so that people, you know, definitely know what it is they need to do. But wherever I decide to stick this, that will be on foam so that can clip behind. So just make sure you give that space. You know, yours might be a piece of, I don't know, a rectangular piece of cardstock with a, a nice written sentiment on it. Make sure that's raised on foam and then that will clip behind it. And then if you've just got these panels with just beautiful pattern papers, it will just be a nice dimensional card and you won't have anything in behind this. But then what people have done with that version is when you open it, that's where you write your message. So you don't have your message on the back, which I will be doing because I've decided to open up my section. So like I said, lots of ways to decorate this. Do check out Pinterest if you want more inspiration, but I'm now just gonna get this all finished. Mm -hmm.
finish you can see when it's flat it's a really nice scene that they see when they take it out of the envelope and like i said i'm going to have a little message that will just say pop the flap behind the treasure chest really easy they know exactly what to do and then it stands up on its own you can see i've added the glossy accents all over the fish so they've got that lovely shine and the nouveau drops there so that's the glossy accents by ranger and then the morning dew crystal nouveau drops there it just gives a nice little effect you've got all the treasure and then you've got all the space on the back there to write your message and that would all fit into your envelope and then again this one here as you can see when they take it out they've got that lovely scene and again just needs to be placed behind like so and there you've got your bay window cards so i've thoroughly enjoyed these i think it's a wonderful design it's very easy to do as well and it's something i will definitely be making a lot more of so I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. As always, everything will be linked in the description box below. Check out the videos that are coming up now using this kit and other underwater themed cards there. And uh, if you haven't subscribed and you've enjoyed my tutorial today, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Take care and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.